We're sitting here with Tim McInerney from Sometimes Always Never. Uh, a real pleasure to be with such a wonderful actor. Um, I was uh, lucky enough to screen the film yesterday and it was just an incredible film about life, about love, about grief, about hope and uh, so many themes you can see throughout the film. Um, during your conversation with Carl, you guys were discussing um, when a director has a role in mind, um, but letting, letting the actor run with it and letting the actor interpret the role and how they want the audience to see it. Um, how did you figure out uh, Arthur's character and getting that goofy side, but still adding the grief to it? What was your process? Well, basically, he really started off with um, the basic premise that, the, which is an incredibly sad premise, uh, that these people um, go from uh, place to place looking for their missing children. I mean, it's an extraordinary idea, and that whenever, whenever the police uh, contact them, saying, uh, you know, this is when. Your, your, your missing son would now be this, this, age, this such and such an age, and now we, and now we have discovered a child who matches that description. So you're constantly, couples constantly going to identify uh, bodies of what are potentially their children. It's, it's just such a disturbing thing, and, and it's affected his relationship with his wife yeah. inevitably. Yeah. You know, um, so you start off. I start off there. Um, then you have to find how, and which is what is so clever about Frank Cottrell Boyce's scripts. Um, then you find out how people cover up that emotional um, holocaust within them, you know. Um, and they use humor, or they become, I mean, Arthur, <laughs> Arthur's a sad guy, he's yeah. so uptight. He's, he's, he's like a real rod of he used iron. To be a singer and all that. I know. Right? He was a singer. He was a cool. He was a cool guy back in the 1970s. Um, yeah. To uh, see I how mean, grief uh, can change a person, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I think, as a couple, they're no longer the, the, the people they were when they met. You know. Yeah. And and one of the things that happens in the movie is that he kind of rediscovers a little bit of his youth at the end, I think. And they they have a chance again. So there's, there is happiness. There is some kind of light at the end of the tunnel, luckily. Yeah. Um, but Arthur is unfortunately a character more uh, laughed at than humorous in himself. <laughs> Which is a shame. Arthur was a funny guy. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I love. He's also got terrible uh, clothes sense. <laughs> yeah. I was not. I was not really interested in buying any of my costumes. Oh afterwards. no! You didn't no. want to wear any of those sweater vests. No. <laughs> right, no. <laughs> um, now, one question I had. Uh, so we know that Bill Nighy's son. Um, he went missing pretty young. Yes. Um, now, we know that there was a few years in between. Um, Arthur's son, how many years had he been missing? I imagine it was kind of the same length of time. I mean, certainly it would be at least 20 years. Okay, so the know. difficulty of digitally aging of the exactly. photo of a child to what they yeah. could look like so and then having to identify its photo fits from the police you know it's, yeah. it's just a weird it's such and a even weird then idea. If, if depending on how long that body has been there like Absolutely. if if it could look and you don't want it to be true yeah. but you also want that that relief yeah you want that, that some chapter. kind of closure but yeah. but do you but do you, you know, exactly would you prefer them to carry on being missing yeah or that's um, that's that's uh, it's impossible to comprehend really what these people go through. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and I mean they they do um, they do have that discovery. Yeah. Um, I wish I think I th I think Arthur used to be quite a cool. He was quite a cool guy. He was in the music industry. I think he was funny. I think he was charming. And that's all kind of. I don't know if it's been stripped away or or if. Actually, there's, there's, you, you put on so many shields yeah. that nobody can reach you anymore because it's too, 
it's too painful to have any kind of emotional commitment to anybody else. Of course. Yeah. Losing, losing your own child, I mean, that's probably one of the worst things in the world. And because it's your child, it is a part of you, and a part of you Absolutely. is gone. And I think that's the hardest part of, of, of that uh, character in that Definitely. situation. But um, one thing I loved, uh, Bill Nye, he said, hope is a great friend. And I think that is so simple and so true. Can, yeah. can be on to anything. And it's another reason I loved the film, because it wasn't just dark and sad and just oh it's uh, oh, no. so life life sucks but more so yeah that you're going to have tough days and bad stuff's going to happen but it's that hope that gets you back up and gets you going every day and i think that was reflected beautifully in the film i think you did an incredible job i think carl did an incredible job and everyone in the cast Thank you. um i think it's a film that everyone needs to see for sure um and we are just so lucky to have you here and thanks for coming out and well, supporting our pleasure. festival thank you very much okay great talking with you thank, thank you so you. much tim <laughs> thanks,